So this is the back storage area, and the back storage area, you know, it, it does really good when we're out um, camping and everything. The only thing is that this material is not very good, so we're going to change it out. Um, and we're going to put, like, a door on top of it. Uh, we had an idea of what we might want to do with it. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. So we're going to record it and let you see as we work through it. So stick with us. The idea was to make an upholstered headboard that would double as a storage door, so the first thing we had to do was go out and find some fabric. The panels that came in the camper that uh, worked as a headboard and also a door were pretty flimsy, so we went ahead and took those out. I also went ahead and took out the track. Now I had put in some extra screws so just to secure it earlier, but I went ahead and took those out as well. The materials that we used for this project included the glue, some batting, the hinges, and the wood that you'll need. Um, I'll put a link for all this in the bottom as well, so make sure to check that if you want to do this project. They say measure twice and cut once. I measured like five or six times. So it was time to start cutting. After everything was cut to the dimensions that we wanted, we took the batting, placed it down, and decided where we wanted to cut it. Even though the Gorilla Glue was already put down on the other side, we decided to put it in between the sheets just because the batting was so thin. But either way, I think it would work. The fabric that we chose is more like a faux black leather. Uh, we wanted something with a little bit of texture to it and that would blend in with the decor in the inside of the camper. So now was the time to measure it up and get it cut as well. This step here was probably the longest part of the entire process, uh, stapling everything down. So we started stapling it and we ended up having to cut out a lot of the batting. Uh, we've never done this before, so uh, we figured it out as we went along, but 
we stapled a lot. Uh, we came back and cut out a lot, but um, we eventually got it wrapped up pretty tight. Once the fabric was securely stapled in place, now was the time to actually get it screwed to the camper. So we spent a little bit of time making sure that we cleared enough room for our mattress because we bought a bigger mattress than what came on the camper. But once we got everything lined up, then it was just a matter of putting in about four screws and we was all ready to go. So here's the final product. We think that it turned out great. We actually came back the next day and put some more fabric on the exposed wood underneath and we added some magnets on both sides just to make sure that it's secured. Thank you for watching our video. So you don't miss the next one, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell. And remember, keep seeing the world in full color.